What's up, Rams? If you don't know by now, I'm Kira Coles with the inside scoop on all things entertainment. Let's get started. In preparation for fall break, I caught up with some fellow Rams to hear about plans. Fall break is very like de-stress. Sleep more in the seat, be healthier, and then I'm gonna work on me. I think the food is what I'm yeah. most like excited for, or just like sleeping. Um, sleeping. <laughs> Uh, going back home to Oregon and spending time with family. Ooh, just no homework. Uh, Straight up. Ham. Mashed potatoes. This may sound really weird, but the canned cranberries are my favorite part. Dessert is always my favorite part of any meal, so probably whatever we make for dessert. I don't know, we kind of switch it up every year. Sometimes we go out and eat, sometimes we stay home. Um, we don't really make a lot of turkey. We're just kind of like pretty non-traditional, which is kind of fun. Mashed potatoes. Yeah. Um, you have all the time in the world to so just like relax and take it at your own pace. Yeah, just do stress, do something that's not related and just kind of go out, have fun, I don't know. Yeah, um, let's say give yourself a time limit while you're studying and treat yourself to maybe some coffee or like time with friends outside. Activity is really important. Um, and just remembering that it'll all work out even if like it won't. We are so close, just four more days until a much needed break. If you are planning on staying in Fort Collins over the fall break, you definitely will not be bored as there are multiple activities to do. Kicking off the fall break, on Friday you can visit the second annual holiday tree lighting, complete with Santa's arrival at the Foothills Mall. The event is free and fun for the whole family with many activities for everyone. In addition, U.S. national ice skaters will show off their skills on the frozen pond right outside the mall. You definitely won't want to miss this jolly celebration. After you're done chilling with my main man, Santa, I have to say that or he won't bring me any presents, head on over to the Fort Collins Foodie Walk, which takes place on the third Friday of every month and brings together all lovers and consumers of food. The event is free and open to all those who want to participate. Now, after you fill up your stomach, you might want to work all of it out to leave extra room for turkey next Thursday. If that's the case, Fort Collins is having a turkey slash donut predict 5K on Saturday. Now, this is not your ordinary 5K run. At the start of the race, participants will actually predict how fast they think they will run the race. The top five people who come closest to guessing their time will win a free turkey. Personally, I don't run for much, but if food is involved, you can definitely catch me in that race. Tickets are on sale now for the newest UCA play, Love and Information. The play, written by Carol Churchill, is an exploration of 21st century human connection and sharing of information. This unique production contains no outline characters, settings, information, or props. The show is broken up into seven sections during which the actors and actresses address some form of societal communication. The director, Laura Jones, who has been teaching and directing at CSU for 23 years, says the play is more of an intellectual Saturday Night Live where the audience is constantly analyzing communication. Tickets for the show are free to all full fee paying CSU students. Additional information about ticket purchases can be found at www.csuartstickets.com. Taylor Swift is back with her new album titled Reputation, which dropped last week. And let's just say anyone hoping that she would return to her country roots, you can let that dream go. According to Taylor herself in her song, Look What You Made Me Do, the old Taylor is dead. This new album is pop mixed with an alternative rock vibe. Reputation has already surpassed $1 million in sales and is this year's best-selling album, topping Ed Sheeran's Divide. Swift also announced plans for her Reputation World Tour dates, which will kick off off on May 8th in Arizona. Tickets are on sale now. Stars flew halfway around the world this past weekend to be at the annual MTV Music MTV European Music Awards at the SSC Arena in Wembley, London, United Kingdom. Performances of the night included Camilla Cabello singing her hit Havana, Travis Scott rapping Butterfly Effect, on top of an animatronic bird, by the way, and Demi Lovato belting out her hit Sorry Not Sorry and Tell Me You Love Me. In addition, Eminem made his comeback, rapping his first live performance of Walk on Water. U.S. winners of the night included Kendrick Lamar winning Best Video with Humble, Shawn Mendes winning Best Artist, and Dua Lipa winning Best New Artist. If you can't get enough of these award shows, not to worry. Back here in the U.S., the American Music Awards will take place on Sunday on ABC. 
Well, that's all. I